All right, welcome back to the channel. This is James Wiltshire, as you probably already know. Today I'm at Felston Golf Club on my own because the map couldn't make it for some reason. He texted me this morning saying he had a really bad back, but then when I went on Instagram stories, saw his out necking vodkas at one in the morning. So apparently you get a bad back from being on the sesh. But anyway, I've dragged myself to Felston on my own to play. I'm actually doing two videos today. The first one, which is this one that you're watching, obviously. I'm gonna go out and play nine holes and see what I can shoot. I'm gonna try and break par. It is cold. It's like seven degrees, windy, a bit wet, but I'm brave enough to do it for you lot, all right? Give this video a like, because I've put the effort in to film it in the cold, in the winter, on my own, driving down to Felston in the rain. And I'll be eternally grateful, and uh, hopefully we can break par. Right, so we're off first, short par four as you can see. Sit it in the uh, green side trap, just short of the green. In that one there, got to get it up onto that surface. Hopefully get a pot for bird. Right, it should break a bit this. About six inches outside the edge. What I'm going at. So the second hole at Felston is a 320 yard par four up the hill. And I just hit a good two iron, so I should have a little wedge in. But, right, it's a message to you lot. What do you think the map was actually doing? Where do you think the map actually is right now? Leave a comment below, like a detailed description of what you actually think the map got up to last night and uh, why he messaged me at seven in the morning when he don't usually get up early anyway. Some say he was still awake. Well, that's the two iron up the hill. Boom. -ah. Right, third hole at Felston, par three down the hill, edge of the cliff, what a view, pins tucked front left. Playing one for 55. Get some relief from that. So bad. Putting is not great at the moment, but I haven't been able to really practice. That's my excuse. Anyway, got a uh, 300 and something yard par four. I 
I've got about 65. Should be a fairly easy chance to get one back. Oh, why do we do this to ourselves? I hope you appreciate the fact that my hands are numb. It's raining on my own. Right, just starting to rain now as well, so hands are gone. Seven iron. I've got a seven iron from 213 downwind downhill. Right then, so we level through four holes. Just nutted a seven iron about 230 through the back. So, uh, more short game skills, but if there's one guy to get up and down, that would be me. That's mine, I may as well just go in. Don't know how it's got there. And it is, wow. That's what you're looking at. So we're on the sixth tee, look at that for a view here at Felston. Got a short par 325 yards, I think. Look at this. Almost pitched in. Pin eye, innit? Come on. Oh, that is disgusting. What's the problem? All right, next up another good hole we've got a par four t is back in the corner we're playing over the edge of this cliff to the fairway and up on the green a la pebble beach what a tee shot this is for the uh, average amateur by the way you got i'd say 150 yard carry over the edge of the cliff and obviously gets further and further as you go left so i'm looking to take this at that hedgerow in the background we're gonna sting a two iron off of it a little draw Right, so after seeing that back, basically on the back nine, I'm going to hit a stinger off every single tee. So that's the video coming in a few days. Make sure you look out for that one. Sting off every tee and try and get like proper high viewing points. Good stingers. If you're wondering why I'm like I'm about to pass out and die carrying a big camera and golf clubs. I'm not actually this unfit. Green slopes right to left, back to front. It's actually not an easy shot. That's what I tell myself on every pitch under 80 yards. Oh, that was a 
nipped. Lovely smashing, yes! Get in, get in, come on! Alright, hole eight, not much to see this way. So I'll show you this view instead. Actually, a good tee shot looks like I got about 175 in from down there to a flag. It's up past those guys there. There it is. Just about to hit the shot into eight. It's taken me 55 minutes to get to this spot. Um, I probably am the fastest player on the planet, but I'm actually quite impressed with that because I'm filming as well, like putting cameras down, then going to re -putts. I reckon I could probably play golf in like two hours. So, uh, yeah, if, if Harry was here, we'd probably still be on the second fairway. I haven't even got a bush nor today either, so it's about 185. Six iron. Gonna give that one a look just as we get closer, but that was tracking from 185. It's just short, I think. This is where you probably need a bushnel. I've hit that 185 directly down the pin. Flags 15 back. Nine at first turn, dog leg left to right, exposed up here. Just gonna hit it up the left of a little two iron. Oh, yes. This looks about 180. Flags, middle of the green. Um, winds across from the left, slightly into. Chip a six, I eh? Chippy, choppy, fady, six, I eh? Up again, the hole. Ah, sure. In front of the groom, just gonna try and make a par. Which won't be too bad, as a round. One over par. Exactly taking my time. Release. Probably gonna chip that. So there we go, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. Not really that serious. Still, there's going to be comments. Is this guy even a pro? Yes, I am because of my PGA. But speed golf nonetheless. Watch out for the Sting video. I'm going to film it now. See you soon.